So this here is my Subaru Forester, and for the most part, I really love the Forester, except for this one little feature. And this one little feature is the same thing that every other Subaru owner, not just Foresters. So it's not limited to the Forester, it's the Outback, it's the Impreza, it's the Crosstrek. And let me show you what this one hated feature is. So you can see it's right there, you know, that A there. So, so that particular A there with the orange lighted uh, arrow, uh, semicircle arrow around the A, that stands for the auto shut off and auto start and, and auto cut off of the engine. So um, what that is, is when the, uh, when the engine is idling at a stop sign at a red light or just idling in general, even when you're parking, um, the engine will actually cut off. So what I want to do is go through some of uh, the tips and, and actually how much gas savings that uh, you will have. Now, uh, to be fair to uh, Subaru, this is not a feature that is limited to Subaru. It is going to be on all of the modern, uh, basically on all of the modern cars because of emissions regulations and gas mileage regulations and just the so-called, uh, you know, eco-friendly technology that has to be implemented uh, to fit those particular standards. So you will, this is here to stay. Um, unfortunately, there is no way to actually disable it permanently, uh, but I'll go through that and talk about that a little bit. So two things most people want to know about this feature is how much are you actually saving? You know, how much damage are you actually doing to your car? And also, uh, you know, what are the workarounds to actually disabling this feature or at least putting up with it? So I'll go over all of those things uh, in this video and uh, let's get started. Now the Subaru models uh, 2019 and above actually keep statistics on uh, how much you're actually saving during the idle. So you notice here in my trip, trip, tripometer here that I have 524 miles uh, driven and I have idled 49 minutes and 50 seconds which is uh, nearly an hour not not uh, quite an hour but uh, all I have saved there is in the middle is 0.346 gallons so just a third of a gallon so even on an expensive day of gas that is just uh, at most a dollar that I've saved per 500 miles now the problem with that is not so much that I've saved so little, but the damage that it does to the starter. So normally for a car, a starter starts going at 100,000 miles. So after 100,000 miles, you're gonna have to replace the starter and it's gonna be you know, about $1,200. And uh, you, for me, I notice for every uh, little trip that I take, you know, an eight mile drive, this car, will idle and stop for basically, uh, if the feature is on, for, you know, 15 to 20 times. And as you can imagine, if you are starting and stopping your car, you know, 15 to 20 times more frequently than you've done in the past, you know, is that going to wear and tear on the starter, you know, 15 to 20 times faster? You know, that, that's hard to say. They're, these cars hasn't been on the road long enough to uh, know that for sure. But, um, you know, given that you have to replace these, you know, every 100,000 miles, the starter, you know, am I going to have to replace this every 50,000, every 60,000, 70,000? So who knows? But uh, there's no doubt that this definitely gives some wear and tear on the starter itself which is really mainly the big concern here that I have. So first off, I want to say there is no built-in way to actually turn off the auto engine cutoff, auto stop, auto start uh, feature natively uh, within any of the uh, settings or anything like that. Uh, to do it permanently, you actually do have to buy that $99 device that installs uh, underneath the driver's seat. Um, but I will go over some of the tricks that I use to uh, get around it and uh, let me get started and talk a little bit about that. So first off, the button to disable it is right here and this is the symbol for it. Now, it is very counterintuitive. 
So for example, you will see that uh, I've just closed my door, um, but there is that A with a semicircle and an arrow around it, and it has a slash across it. Now that simply means that it's not enabled right now. If you want to disable it, uh, every time you uh, get in and turn on the ignition, you have to push that button right there every single time. Now there is a company that makes a disabler that remembers that and it's $100 and you could install it underneath your seat. So I will have that link in the description area right below. But let me go ahead and tell you, you know, without that sort of device, how I get around it. So I am gonna push the button right now and uh, you will see that it lights up and it turns orange. Believe it or not, that actually means disable, whereas the other symbol with the slash across it actually means that it's enabled. That is uh, just super, super counterintuitive to me. So that right there means it's uh, disabled. And so um, I will drive around and every time I'm stopped, I will not be uh, kicking off the auto cutoff of the engine. So if you don't want to buy that $99 device which actually uh, puts a circuit underneath your seat and takes five minutes to install, what I do is I do not depress the brake uh, completely down with any force when I am stopped. And I do that for several reasons. One reason is I'm kind of always on a rolling stop. But the second reason is lots of times I'm always looking in my rear view mirror to make sure that no one's going to rear end me. So when I uh, have the brakes ready to actually move a little bit forward if there is a car that's speeding uh, towards me from behind. So I will have always a very light foot on the brake for that reason. Uh, so that's one way to actually uh, somewhat disable the auto cutoff of the engine when you are stopped. Now the other method people have used is, you know, to either turn on the defroster or the heat. Now, now I don't find that uh, a very feasible solution to actually constantly do that. I, I rather kind of change the habits. Now, even in the case where I am very light and, and basically am kind of always on a rolling stop sort of situation, uh, when I am switching off to park, this thing will cut off. So what I actually end up doing in that situation is, before I park, I will actually take my seat belt off. So taking the seat belt off also disables it uh, as I am parking. So one of the frustrating aspects is, yes, I am light on the uh, brake, which doesn't kick in the auto cutoff, but when I am parking, it still auto cuts off uh, in that particular scenario. So the seat belt uh, will, the seat belt trick will actually get rid of that particular uh, uh, ki kind of special case. Now, in addition to having a soft foot on the brake, another little trick is if you have your steering wheel turned slightly uh, angled or not straight, the auto cutoff will not turn on. And this is because it thinks that you might be turning, so it won't cut off the engine. So all of these workarounds are a little bit nutty. Basically, turning on your engine and pushing that button every single time. Uh, or the second option is to have a very light and soft uh, braking foot you know, turning your steering wheel at an angle or putting your defrosters on or your heat up high or your AC up high. Now, all of those are really just annoying workarounds to, you know, stop uh, this uh, kind of auto engine cutoff from kicking in. So, but those are the things I've learned. I, I, I've, I've learned to kind of get used to it over time because this feature is not just going to be on Subarus, but basically you'll see and notice this in every other single car that uh, you run into. So, um, yeah, so I, I'm, I hope these uh, tips are helpful and, uh, you know, thank you for watching.